Hello there. I am Sean McLaren, and this is a modern video with uh, black white, smallpox, black white planeswalkers, black white discard, black white flagstones, a black white deck in modern. Black white something. Whatever you want to call it, it's black white. And I stole this list. Actually, gently borrowed this list from uh, QB Turtle 15. This is card for card uh, QB Turtle 15's deck list, stolen from online deck lists, borrowed from online deck lists. Anyways, so let's go over the deck. All right, so small box. Let's start with that. Small box is a good card when you're not running that many creatures uh, which is basically what this deck is doing so you're going to be able to make your opponent sacrifice a creature you're probably not sacrificing your own creature and then the real combo comes in with flagstones of trocare if you're sacrificing flagstones to your smallpox and your opponent is sacrificing a real land like a chump so you you aren't really losing land and they are and of course, you're wondering, how do you cast smallpox? It's double black, and flagstones adds white. Well, let me tell you, um, Urborg turns your flagstones into a swamp, and then it can uh, tap for black mana, or you can filter that white mana into fetid heath, and then cast smallpox. So turn two smallpox is not that unlikely with uh, seven lands that help out flagstones to cast smallpox on turn two. Alright, uh, next, the one drops. Four Thoughtseize, four Inquisition. Um, actually, a kind of a discard sub theme with that and the Lilianas and the smallpox. You can attack your opponent's hand pretty well get rid of their important cards. I like this package in Modern. Uh, four Fatal Pushes, just some of the best removal in Modern nowadays, and very good in this deck. It can clear out the smaller things and then you make them sacrifice any bigger things. Uh, just efficiency at its finest. And you don't want like Path when you're sometimes land screwing them with Smallpox, so Fatal Push the way to go definitely made this deck a lot better if it was a deck before. Then we have Blood Ghasts, which are also good synergy with like Smallpox. If you discard them to the Smallpox, if you're sacrificing Flagstones, it brings back Blood Ghast. If you're discarding Blood Ghast to uh, Liliana, that's also pretty good. So Blood Ghast is not a card I I would be playing in this list. I would probably be running Wall of Omens because it's Wall of Omens. But uh, we'll see how Blood Gas does. Um, it seems uh, great in some matchups, terrible in others. So, yeah. Um, Lingering Souls, obviously, going to be great. Good card to discard to either of these. Just efficient at protecting your Planeswalkers. Just Lingering Souls is a good card. Um, Oath of Liliana continues the sacrifice theme and a, a way to generate value with all these planeswalkers. Like, you have a lot of planeswalkers. It's not hard to make a couple couple zombies off of Oath of Liliana. Uh, Gideon is a good card. Not really a card you see in modern that much, but it's going to be like the nice top end for this deck. Normally, if you were playing, say, Mardu, these would be Nahiris, but instead they're Gideons, and Gideon is pretty good, if left unchecked. Also some Sorens. Uh, Soren, obviously not as giddy, good, good, good as Gideon. Good as Gideon, but what is? Um, yeah, but the lifelink can be relevant, and then... Uh, I mean, mostly the lifelink is is what's good about Soren. Otherwise, it's basically just a worst Gideon. 
I suppose the tokens having flying is is kind of nice, but yeah, Gideon probably just mostly better than Soren. Speaking of lifelink, there's a Vault of the Archangel. Uh, not good um, with smallpox, obviously, but can't, good with all the tokens. Makes them trade or good against burn. You want to be able to get your life total back up. Sideboard, we have Surgicals, which is good with the discard, and can even sometimes get a land if you smallpox a land and then surgical it, but they're usually not going to be sacrificing their important lands, so not so much, not as good as Ghost Quarter Surgical against, like, Tron. One Collective Brutality, apparently we should uh, be good enough bur against Burn, or just Burn isn't that prevalent. It seems like the deck isn't that great against Burn, honestly, although Soren actually is amazing there. But one Collective Brutality, at, at least one Collective Brutality seems great. Two Stonies for against Affinity, two Fulminators to uh, enable the Surgicals against Tron, or just uh, get some land destruction value on the play. Uh, one Finx, just value card. Obzadat is not a card you see that often, but, I mean, I'm down for a little bit of Obzadat action. Great card. I mean, really underrated card. And underrated art. This art is just amazing art. And just a beefcake in general, I would say. And also life gain. Two damnations for some nice uh, hard removal against wider boards, which you aren't well equipped to deal with otherwise with all your sacrifice effects, but Damnation is going to sweep up everything quite nicely. And then Ley Lines of the Void for uh, Graveyard Interaction, which you you don't want Rest in Peace, I guess, because of Bloodgast and Lingering Souls. I don't really like Ley Line as a card. I ve very rarely choose Ley Line, put Ley Line in my decks, but we're going to run it today. Alright, that's the deck. Let's play it.